Hey beauties and welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And in today's video we are going to be reviewing the uh, Hoo Hoo, I think it's pronounced, uh, 12 colour poly gel nail kit. So uh, this was actually on Amazon, it was, because I'm in the UK, um, we can't actually get this brand in the UK, but it came onto the Amazon, U UK Amazon months ago and then it went out of stock really quick and it's only just come back into stock so once i seen it i was like i've got to buy it because people have asked me to review this pro uh, this brand before uh, they did also contact me asking if i wanted to review their rainbow poly gel kit when it first came out but sadly because i'm in the uk they couldn't ship it to me um but we are going to take a good look at this so i'm just giving you a close-up it's a very big box and you have everything in here apart from prep uh, like dehydrator and primer. Well, no, you, you can use the slip solution as dehydrator, so just primer you're missing. So you get a base top, a base coat and a top coat, a slip solution, some cuticle tools and nail plate tools for your prep. Um, you also get a, a brush picker tool, which is like your sphere javelin uh, one end, and then you get your brush on the other end. This pen was quite hard to pull apart. Um, <clears throat> and when I went to put the lid back on, I actually ruined the brush because you know that little like see-through tube that sits on the brush? Um, it got stuck inside the lid and I didn't realise and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it comes with some jewel forms, but we won't be using them today. But the jewel forms come in, I think it's 12 different sizes and there's a lot here. Uh, they are the curved ones. The I do like the, uh, what's it called? The cuticle area on these. It's just, I'm not that big of a fan on curved nails. I know some people do like curved nails and that's completely fine. Um, but it's just not my preference. And then you get four really lush glitters. So you get two fine glitters, which are a blue and a silver. And then you get a purple and a pink chunky glitter. Um, <clears throat> I do take them all off and look the, the protection layer off and show you the insides here. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a nice variety here. Like I think this, you can get the 18 piece one as well. And basically what it is, um, it's these glitters in a poly gel instead of, uh, them being in loose glitter tubs. Uh, excuse the dryness of my hands, by the way. And I keep picking, gosh, guys, I've got to stop picking my, my skin. <laughs> So I asked on Instagram uh, what you guys would like to see, milk bath or French tip. You said milk bath, 100% on glitter. You'd rather shiny and the majority of you did want butterflies. So we're going to be uh, doing a milk bath set today. So these are the colours here. Four of them are colour changing as you can see. Two of them turn cl uh, clear and one of them turns milky white I guess is the best colour. Um, they all come sealed and they are... 15 grams each. These are the dried flowers that I got and I also prepped everything ready to use because it was doing milk bath There's a lot of stuff to like go on the nails So yeah, I got some butterflies here. I'll leave everything linked down below in the description box my glitter I got some gold foil uh, My flowers and I'm going to use the white the baby pink like soft pink color and the clear I will admit the clear is is very <clears throat> It's not clear clear, but it's very nice clear. I was quite shocked. I thought it was going to be more cloudy, but no. Uh, and the uh, the consistency of these poly gels, they're soft, but they're not too soft. The clear is definitely softer than the other colours. Some of them are hard to get out of the tube and some of them are really easy. It was like, oh, okay. So basically what I'm doing here is I've just put the colours onto my resin palette here and I'm just mixing in the white and a bit of that pink into that clear because I want to make like a milky sort of marbled uh poly gel just so that i can m create that milk bath effect so i have uh prepped my nails already but i will leave a video in the cards it's a two minute video you can go click on it and watch uh if to know how i prep my nails um but yeah i don't prep my nails very often as you guys know because i like to use a peel off base coat so now i'm using those um long straight uh c curved uh, nail tips. These are my, like my favourite ones right now. They're really long. They're really nice. I got them off of AliExpress again. Everything will be linked down below. And now I'm just filing away the shine. Um, don't prep your. Do this bit first before you prep your nail, uh, <laughs> because you'll get like uh, dust stuck into the base coat and stuff, and you don't want that. So yeah, um, and it will cause lifting. So here is the slip solution. And my little trick: I get some scissors and I just poke a hole in the top here, just so that it doesn't all spill out in one big bulk. 
like just just wash everywhere and then i just squeeze it and it just turns into like a little squeezy bottle i put some in the cap um wet up my brush try to reform it because i'd ruined it with that tube that was stuck in. i didn't know the tube was in there to be fair and now i'm going to go in with the base coat and i'm just going to put it on the tip here um i would recommend though doing it on the whole of your nail because if you're prepping and you want them to last it's just i used a peel off base coat so i didn't need to so i did practice on my thumb off camera it took me a while but i got there in the end and i knew what i was doing so now we're moving on to the next lot of nails so again i'm going in with the base coat and then before i cure i decide to stick <clears throat> sorry my voice went then uh, I decided to do this nail as like butterflies and uh, some glitter. I didn't want to make every single nail um, a milk bath. I wanted to like change it up a bit. So like whereas we had the glitter, uh, the, the butterflies and the glitter and gold foil, and then we had the milk bath as well. So yeah, I, and every uh, nail is ombre as well. Uh, the nail bed is ombre in, so it gives a really nice effect. I was really happy with how these turned out. Um, I definitely need to work on my shaping a little bit. I did actually use my e-file today. I'm getting a tiny bit better at it. Uh, and I left some of the filing in with the e-file, but I'm not perfect yet. So yeah. Um, so here I am now just doing that nail bed area. And as you can see, there was glitter in my brush. I completely forgot, but I just left it there. It didn't actually matter to me. But of course, if you don't want the glitter, make sure to clean your brush off first before you go in. I should have used a separate brush, but yeah. So basically what I'm doing is I'm making sure that it fits around the cuticle area perfectly. And then I just pull it and thin it out with my brush uh, going up the nail to give it like that ombre um, smooth effect. Uh, with the cuticle bead, uh, when I'm pushing it into the cuticle, I make sure to like walk it into the cuticle area. Don't let it touch your skin and don't cure it to your skin. Um, and then I just, yeah, as you can see, I'm just pushing it up and down, back and forth, uh, just to create that really nice like seam. Then I cure for 30 seconds. There's a lot of in and out of the lamp with milk bath, but... I don't mind. I like encapsulating nails. It's fun. And I haven't done, well, I've done, um, the, my last video, i done like the original poly gel application method and uh, I'm so rusty, but I am really enjoying doing the old, like true methods. It's fun. Like, and I forgot how much I actually enjoyed and enjoyed it. And I'd sit there for ages, not realizing, do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's nice to actually do, um, some original sort of lays. I really love this nail. It turned out so good. Uh, I am going to do, I think, some dual form um, sets next though, just to uh, just to change it up a bit because I don't want to be the same thing over and over and over again. But I am going to start doing more of these uh, application again. So moving on to the next nail now, after I clear capped and cured, I now go in with some base coat again and I'm just pushing some dried flowers into this nail. I then cure before going in then with uh, some more poly gel. Um, yeah, I had some like little flower bits here and there, some leaves. I, uh, I think I had some gold foil into this one and some butterflies. Those butterflies, they are from Amazon. They're really cute. They're just like paper cutouts. That's all they are. Um, and I think they're absolutely lush. I love like, the, they're just really plain and simple, but you, do you know what I mean? Not too like overly like overdone so i'm putting on some clear and then that mixture from my resin palette and now i'm just going to work it in just so that i can create that milk bath so if there's some of it's clear and some of it's not so it just it looks like it's submerged it submerged in milk i hope that makes sense and i just pull and pie it around i straighten up the sides uh, again as you guys know you don't have to be perfect with your application although it does help when it comes to filing i did make these a little thick but like i said i'm a bit rusty with the original like application for poly gel so yeah it just takes a bit of practice to get used to again um but yeah i really enjoyed doing this it was fun i think i'm going to do uh some french tips uh, french nail tip uh nails next or i'll do dual forms i can't decide let me know in the comments would you rather the original like uh manual poly gel lay with uh french tips or would you rather me do some dual form nails let me know in the comments down below guys because i really don't mind uh so here i am now just putting some glitter and some gold foil onto this before curing then i go in with the um cuticle bead and then i go in with some clear again so that is the problem well not a problem that is you have to be mindful when doing milk bath nails because you do it in layers don't make the the layers too thick because 
you will end up with very bulky nails. Even with my e-file, I was still like, okay, it's still bulky, but uh, I, I was happy with them as well. I tried to bulk them down, debulk them down as much as I could. Uh, but yeah. So the next nail, I decided to just do the same thing, but I, but I use the pink and the white and I marble it up the nail. I do a pink ombre uh, nail bed and I just cover the nail in those beautiful gold butterflies and gold foil i wanted to just do like a different nail like as an accent nail but still have like the butterfly effect and stuff like that and then the pinky was another milk bath nail uh like the thumb and middle finger here so yeah it was really simple to do uh, it just takes uh, a bit more time and you do have to cure in between each layer uh which can be a pain but like you get used to it and you don't mind it like i didn't mind doing it but yeah <laughs> i know some people don't like to stick their hands in out in out shake it all about you know do the hokey pokey uh with their hands when it comes to light but you can buy like gloves and stuff if you yeah uh if you don't want to like constantly have your nail under the uv light uh there was something else that i was going to say oh yeah um i did notice with this poly gel that it did burn a tiny tiny bit um like you know when you get those heat spikes and i don't usually get that so yeah it was kind of weird but it doesn't affect the use of the poly gel and it doesn't mean that the poly gel is bad it's just you're getting a heat spike from the uv curing the gel because gel heats up of course when it's curing so don't think that something bad's happened if you do get that it's just it, I, I have had a lot of poly gels in the past do it so yeah so i am using my old cuticle pusher to do the uh the, the, the marbly swirly bit here as you can see sorry my hands in the way a little bit here uh but yeah uh once i'd done this i done a full 60 second cure to make sure everything was cured i wiped away the sticky tacky layer and then i went in with my hand file um and uh, my e-file <laughs> i didn't show every nail filing so we've been here for a long time um and then yeah and then once that was done i worked with the dust and i added some top coats so i'm going to put some music on and let you guys watch the rest of the application and then when um we start doing something different <laughs> besides filing i will come back and i will talk to you about the nails some more so i'll speak to you guys in a bit hope you enjoy
Hello guys, and I'm back. Gosh, that was a long time, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, so here I am now showing you what the uh, the nails look like after they've been filed. I know that I could have done a lot more filing and I will get better at it. It just takes some practice and some time. Uh, so now I'm just going in with some top coat from the kit and I'm just top coating every single nail. Uh, I cure for 60 seconds and then I add some cuticle oil. I use the cuticle oil that's left over in my little like bottle. Um, I mix up my cuticle oil in a big bottle and then I, I put it into my pen. Uh, so if you're wondering why it's in this big bottle, that's why. Uh, it's just jojoba oil and vitamin E oil mixed together because it's actually really, really good for your nails. It helps them grow, it's, it heals them, it, get, it keeps them healthy and strong. Uh, so yeah, I'd highly recommend using them. I do love that ring fingernail. It does look really, really pretty. And I, I think... I like them all. I think they all have like this really cool like effect. I got so many ideas now because it's like coming up to summer. Because like spring and summer, you can do pretty much the same similar sort of nails because they, you can still use those same colours. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but this is the end result, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My train of thought went then. <laughs> I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to keep on smiling. Don't forget to stay safe. Uh, that fingernail there is wonky. Yeah, I have weird curved fingers. Um, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, but yeah. Um, I will leave everything down below in the description box along with discount codes and affiliate links and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, guys, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!